welcome to your grace daily devotional uh, we're looking at a new uh a new kind what do you mean new kind we're looking at the new kind of man uh the man that is born again uh, it's a new creation the bible says uh, is the god kind he has the life and the nature of god at work in him i remember an encounter that i had uh, uh, several years ago with a gentleman who was dealing with a very difficult situation. Uh, maybe that's your story today. Maybe uh, you're dealing with something that is really, really, really uncomfortable, uh, difficult, painful, uh, confusing, just not normal. Maybe that's your story uh, today. Uh, the good news is that there is hope. Uh, there is a solution. There is a way out of whatever predicament that you may find yourself. And this way out is already provided in Christ Jesus. Now, if you're born again, I rejoice with you. I am celebrating you right now, uh, regardless of what's going on. I said I had an encounter with a gentleman several years ago who was dealing with a very challenging and difficult situation. So he was trying to get me to see the severity of what was going on with him. Probably he wanted me to see uh, how I can come in and help out. And that was the problem. Yeah, I'm going to help you out. So as he began to talk to me about what was going on, I kept seeing him in the scripture, 1 John 4 and verse 4. I just kept seeing him there. The more he tried to convince me how he was a victim, the more I saw him a victor. In other words, he was painting a picture to me that was factual. And But the Holy Ghost was painting a different picture of him to me. And the picture that the Holy Ghost was painting to me was that he was a victor. That he, he was not in any situation that was going to, you know, overpower him but you see he was looking at this situation he's painting this situation to me as this is this is this is bad this is this is terrible you know you know this is so bad you know all of that kind and he was he was being sincere see I, you know I, I was looking at one picture on this on this end and, and here the holy ghost was painting a different picture of the same gentleman of the same situation to me in other words God was looking at his situation, was looking at his son as a victim. But here the son is looking at himself as a victim of the situation. So the more he tried to convince me that he was in a big trouble, the more God was convincing me that greater is he that is in him than he that is in the world. So what am I trying to tell you today? You may be facing a very difficult situation today. And there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no deny. I'm not denying that what you're facing is not real. But I paint a different picture of you to you. Maybe a picture that you've never seen before. Because that's what the Lord was doing. So I was seeing these guys and you, you don't have any problem. He's like, what do you mean I don't have any problem? Did you hear anything that I said at all? I said, Yeah. But here's what the word of God says about you in this situation. So what are you going to take home after this encounter with me? Are you going to go back to what your situation is telling you? Or are you going to go back to that situation with a new mindset? With an understanding of what God has already said. So you are either going to trust the ability of your situation or you're going to trust the ability of God. Now, of course, he left, and I'm not sure which way, you know. I'm, but I, I'm trusting that he went back with the mindset that he was a victor over that situation and that circumstance. Look at Jesus, for example. The Bible says that why he was in the boat with the disciples, and and he was sleeping, and the disciples, you know, suddenly came across. Uh, a storm. Now they are in the middle of the storm. 
the Bible said water began to come into the boat. It was bad. Okay? It was, it was a bad situation in the flesh. And, but Jesus was in that situation. And he was sleeping. And, and they were wondering, how come Jesus is still asleep with all of this going on? So they went to the master. They woke him up and said, Master, Master, don't you even care that we're about to perish? Something that Jesus did. I, I've shared so much on this. There's something that Jesus did that should send a warning to us as believers in Jesus Christ. It's a message of the Father to his sons and to his daughters about how to respond if you find yourself in a challenging situation. Here the Bible tells us, Jesus woke up and rebuked the storm and calmed the sea and said, Hush! And the Bible said there was a great cap. A lot of us, we've preached on that. But a lot of times, we fail to see the message that Jesus sent, not just to his disciples, but to us all believers in Jesus Christ. He looked at them and said, where is your faith? What do you mean, where is my faith? <laughs> what do you mean, where is my faith? Because the coming of the storm, and the talking to the wind was not the message per se. The greater message that Jesus was saying was that, where is your faith? In other words, why are you losing sleep over a bad story? Yes, this is bad. But why do you have to lose sleep over that? Because he didn't expect that they should wake him up. Because so Jesus, he wasn't going to lose any sleep. Over a bad news or a bad situation. Or oh, you don't understand the doctor said I have so and so cancer. And you lose sleep over that. That's the message that is in the devotion of today. You're a new kind. We don't lose sleep over a bad day. We don't lose, we don't lose sleep over a bad situation. We don't even lose sleep. Even if we find ourselves in the boat. Why that boat is in the middle of the sea and why that sea is experiencing boisterous wind and waves are high, dear goodness. You're talking about chaos, you're talking about calamity. But Jesus woke up and calmed the storm. And when he did, the disciples looked at one another and they were like, what manner of man is it that even the wind obey? In other words, what kind of man is this? How can he talk to the storm and the storm obeyed him? And Jesus said, where is your faith? You could, you could have done the same thing. You could have talked to the storm and the storm would have obeyed you. Because you're a new kind. Because the God kind, we don't lose sleep over a bad situation. Rather, we rejoice. Because perhaps it counted all joy when you go through diverse steps. Why? Because all things are working together for your good. When you have the Holy Ghost inside you, you cannot go under. You cannot be drowned. No, no, no. It is impossible. That's the message. Take the time and study the devotion for yourself. It will bless you. And make sure that you share with someone else. The message today is that you are a new kind. Act. Think. And let it become your consciousness. I'm a victor in Jesus' name because you're a new kind. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So don't cry. Don't, 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 don't be, don't, don't, don't cry. No. No matter what the situation is, you've already have the victory in Jesus Christ. Now appropriate that victory by your faith-filled confession. Affirm the victory of Christ even in that situation. Because that's what God expects you to do. Because you have the power of the Holy Ghost at work in you. Praise God. Anyways, thank you for taking out the time again to, 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 to hear the word of God from us. And we're so privileged that we can do this. Uh, we're looking forward to sharing God's word with you again tomorrow. And until then, remember, you are a new kind. A God kind. With the life and the nature of God inside you. Come and see.